It was just over a year ago that a 43-year-old father of three was taken from his family, killed at the hands of a gunman out to rob a stranger of his jewelry. Fort Myers police detectives are still trying to find answers in the February 2007 homicide of Robert Lee Marshall, a man who ventured into a strange neighborhood and came face to face with the wrong people. Police believe Marshall was driving a friend in search of narcotics. The situation then turned violent and Marshall was robbed, then murdered. The shooting occurred around 3.30 on a busy Saturday afternoon, about three blocks from this major intersection off MLK in Fort Myers. Robert Marshall lay dead with a single gunshot wound to the chest. The passenger in his vehicle then fled on foot to this nearby gas station where he sought help for his injuries. The two black suspects in this case also left the area on foot. What detectives need at this point is for someone to come forward and provide the identities of those two black males so that they can be charged in this crime. There were two black males um, and, and that's where our investigation is focusing right now. We just need to know from people what happened as we're sure there was more witnesses in the case. While some information is known about the occurrences of that afternoon, police say they need a positive ID on the shooter in order to make an arrest. The case is at a critical stage now and witnesses coming forward anonymously could make all the difference in putting a killer behind bars. I understand that they live in fear in that area and uh, the first step is getting involved. Anyone providing information in the homicide of Robert Marshall will remain anonymous. Police don't need to know the identity of the witness, they just need to know who committed the murder before they have an opportunity to do so again. For Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, I'm Trish Rout.